Hey guys and girls, so we're here and I'm going to be changing the FEP on my Elegoo Mars resin vat. It's uh, coming up to a year old in April and um, it's got a little bit of a hole in it. Now I've been using this pretty solidly for, well, since last April when I, when I got the Mars and it's served me well. So I've been really impressed with how long it's lasted. I've seen a lot of other people having to change it quicker. So the first thing you do is spin it over make sure you've emptied all the resin out of it and you want to take out the eight screws that are in the bottom of the vat. Now these are your tensioning screws okay so these screws don't actually get necessarily get screwed all the way in when you put it back on so do bear that in mind and I'll explain that a little bit later. Okay so we're just going to go around and we're going to take out all eight screws okay so you're going to need an allen key for this they don't provide an allen key that fits these screws um, in in the toolkit that comes with the Elegoo Mars, which is a little bit disappointing um, But luckily I had quite a few Allen keys on hand um, And one of them fitted perfectly. So I'm just taking my time um, Just to make sure I don't uh, Damage the heads of the screws Are you going to take all eight of these out and make sure they're kept safe put them in front of you or put them into a little jar or container? Okay, once you've um, taken out all eight, just remember to give your give it all a good clean. Okay, so as you're dismantling this, make sure you've got some isopropyl alcohol or some grease away cleaner, just to make sure you can give everything a good clean up. Now, with regard to the replacement FEP sheets, um, I got mine off Amazon. They were sixteen pound for five, and it also came with a, a replacement little spatula, which was quite nice. Okay. So you can see it is quite a time consuming job. Um, it does take a little bit of a while to get all of the eight out, but once it's off, um, it pops out quite easily. And then we're gonna flip it over and you'll see the other side. And I'll explain what we're gonna be doing next. You're gonna also need um, an X-Acto knife or a Stanley knife uh, for the end part of the, the process to, to trim down the FEP once the new FEP's all installed and um, good to go okay so make sure you've got a nice sharp Stanley knife exacto knife something like that so we're just pushing the, the the vat from underneath out and you can see it's popped out quite easily you're going to want to give that a clean inside inside there um, just to make sure it's all you know all nice and sorted and there's no leftover resin um, or anything's leaked into there. So just give that a good clean out. Mine was pretty clean to be honest because I do tend to try to maintain uh, maintain the valve, give it a good clean every now and again uh, in between prints. Just uh, empty it out, clean the FEP with some uh, IPA. So I flipped it over and you can see there's quite a few screws on here. I think it's 16 in total. Um, and you can use the little Allen key that comes with the Elegoo for this. So all you want to do is unscrew all of these screws, okay, and then once they're all off, I'll talk to you in the next bit. Let's speed this up, let's not hang around. Okay, so once all the screws are out, we can lift that over, give it a little bit of a clean, and take out the damaged FEP sheet. That just peels off. And um, we can have a look. You can see there's, there is some resin there. I should really be wearing gloves for this. Um, it's a bit of a no-no, really. I, uh, you know, resin is um, a dangerous product. So uh, this was just a lapse in judgment, to be honest. So do make sure you are wearing gloves, safety gloves. Um, you can't see, but I have got, uh, I have actually got a mask on, but. I'm completely out of gloves and I needed to get this done so not a good idea but needs must so I did take that risk um, so I've clean cleaned that off making sure it's all nice and clean I'm now folding a piece of tissue now a, a, a bottle lid is better just a small bottle cap of a 500 ml coke bottle or something like that but I just didn't have one of those to hand and I know this works quite well um, also. So all I'm doing is just putting that underneath for a little bit of, um, to raise the FEP sheet up a little bit. Okay, and it's not it's not the best, um, 
a bottle cap works so much better but this does work and it you know it did it's, it did the job so I just popped that under there and this is essentially just to give um, a little bit of uh, a, to keep it loose when you says when you, when you says there's some uh, looseness to when you tighten it up it pulls it all tight and you get the tension you need okay so what's happening now is I've just got my new FEP sheet out I am peeling off the protective film so there's a protective film layer on both sides of this um, it's a little bit tricky to actually to get off but you know just take your time don't whatever you do put the FEP on with the protective film either side that will not go well so what I'm doing now is laying that on top okay just very loosely just getting it roughly even so there's an even amount either side and then I'm going to flip the other part over onto it okay like so now like I say it is literally just to, to get it all lined up and then I'm going back over to the other side where there's the the multiple screw holes and I'm just gonna line it up and then I'm gonna screw all of those tiny little screws back in into there okay now these go in fully tight you don't have to worry about you don't have to keep these ones uh, loose at all Okay, so just tighten, put these in, tighten them all up. Maybe do one corner at a time. Take your time, a little bit of pressure, and they pop straight through the FEP. I've seen some people on YouTube, they do use um, a little punching tool, something sharp, just to make the initial hole. I don't like doing that because I find that you can make the initial hole and then it doesn't quite line up properly. So there's always a chance of having, having maybe the slightly wrong hole but it is personal preference it's however you find it easy enough to do it I do find that a little bit of pressure and they just pop straight through you can screw them up no problem and um, it's not really an issue so I'm just checking that there's a little bit of um, loose tension there it's not as loose as I'd like it but it's um, it will do the job for it for for a good good while so I'm not not overly concerned. I've got a couple of big prints coming up, big projects. Um, I will probably change the FEP again once I finish those projects. So I've got um, a couple of props like the Babylon 5 pistol that I'm going to do in resin. Um, I've got a couple of Sanix models that I want to do and to be honest I want to get into the habit of changing the FEP a little bit, little bit sooner than I have. I've left it almost a year and I'm just starting to see some print fails with the FEP the way it is. I mean, not to mention the fact it's got the little hole in it, which isn't great. You can see I've taken my mask off here really, you know, what can I say? You know, resin, dangerous, yes, but um, for this quick job, the, there's not a, not a large amount of resin lying around. So the biggest problem here is the fact that I didn't have my gloves on. Um, but then you know you get all these you get quite a, a, a quite an emotive reaction when you talk about resin on some of the the forums some people think it's um extremely important some people say it's not as important to wear the gloves i absolutely believe it's important to wear the gloves yeah don't don't take risks um if you start to build up a resin reaction start getting reactions to resin it can be quite nasty and quite hazardous to your health so I am stressing that point and you're probably thinking, no, nah, don't stress it as much, but it is, it is important. Okay, so all I'm doing here is just going around, putting all these screws in, caught the, uh, caught the cloth a little bit there, but it's, you know, here's what it is. Go around, take your time, make sure you get them all in. Um, I'd be really interested to know what projects you're working on, what's, what's some of the really cool stuff you've printed, do you have Instagram? Um, I'd love to check out some of the some of the prints that you guys are doing, especially like the viewers. Um, be really interesting to see see what you've been creating. So I am on Instagram as well. It is uh, my teacher of computing account. So it's um, I think it's the Instagrams uh, at AHC Me UK. So do check that out and uh, follow follow for some of the projects I'm working on. And uh, do comment below, let me know what you've been printing on, on your Mars, or if you're not using the Mars, you know, this lots of, um, lots of, 3D, lots of the resin 3D printers have, uh, have FEP 
that so the any cubic and etc so what's brought you here how did you get here you know i am uh, i'm very interested in that to be honest i you know and i do appreciate you watching these videos you know it's um it's great to know that i'm helping a few people out and you know if it doesn't help you that's fine you know hopefully the, youtube's such a crazy place I mean, literally so crazy. I, there was this one channel I found the other day, it was something like Ooga Booga Confirmed Crazy Mode Only, and it was mental. There was just so many crazy videos on there, and they made absolutely no sense. But then you'll find a channel that you think, that's amazing, and it's got some really great content on, and hopefully, hopefully I'm providing some of that great content for you guys. Um, if you what if you think of anything that will help the channel out, anything you want changed, then do do comment below. I do try to respond to every comment, and I do appreciate the criticism, you know, good or bad. Um, so yeah, so just putting all the screws in, and you'll notice here I actually make a mistake. Um, I actually miss one of the screws. Okay, now you can see I've just left it to the to the left hand side. I do notice that after the video, and I do pop it back in. So don't don't worry about that. I have seen it, um, and I did put that screw back in once I realised my mistake. And that's it's really easy to make mistakes. You know, everyone does it. So just take your time and try to make sure you get all those screws in. So all I'm doing now is I'm pushing the um, the base back in and back together. Okay, and then I'm gonna start putting the the other screws in. Now, you don't necessarily, don't over tighten these. You don't want them too tight. And what you can do is you can actually use, I didn't show it on here, but you can use an app. Um, I'm trying to think what it's called. So it's, let me dig it out. It's a Spectrum Analyzer. Okay, and I saw this in another YouTube video. Um, and all you do is you just very gently tap the FEP um, next to the spectrum analyzer and you're looking for it to be in the 33 uh, 33 Hertz sound range so nice tinny like a snare drum sound to make sure you've got the right tension and if you the way these work is if you do them up really really tight it pulls the FEP tight together um, and you get a different sound and these are these are like leveling leveling bolts so you just if you release them slightly it gives a little bit of release on the tension and you get a different sound and i know that sounds crazy but literally 33 um 33 hertz is the sweet spot okay um so yeah or if i can I'll, I'll pop it onto the end of video of just how you use spectrum analyzer so as um so as you get an idea um, but it is really useful for, for getting that sweet spot, the, the, the tightness of the FEP and just making sure it's absolutely spot on and you're going to get some really good prints from that. So some of the, some of the print fails I've had are um, basically the, the print not sticking to the support. So it sticks to the, to the FEP and then it, the, the supports on the build plate, um, but part of the print is left attached to the FEP. And that's kind of when I know like when to change the FEP. At that point, I am changing my FEP and I am um, getting better results, going back to that, that constant and consistent good quality resin print. So um, yeah, do keep an eye on your FEP. It is, it is an important part of your SLA printing. Um, the other thing is the temperature of the resin. So if you are getting some fails, it's it's good to play around with some of the settings in say a sheety box. Um, you you can increase your bottom layer exposure time. So at the moment I'm on 50, uh, you could put it up to 60 uh, or 70 and see if that improves any of your print fails. Um, and also your your line count, your bottom line count, you can increase, uh, I think say, I usually print about, te uh, print about eight. Um, 10 is quite a nice nice spot if you are experiencing failures with new types of resin. Um, I usually use the Elegoo, Elegoo uh, Mars ABS type resin, but I have found it quite pricey lately. So it is coming out at 30, th about 37 pound um, for, for a thousand mils, which I think is quite expensive. So I've just switched over to the uh, Sunel, um, Sunel resin, which is about 24 pound. I did try ordering some off Aliexpress, um, a job lot off Aliexpress, and I just had nothing but issues. Um, it didn't dispatch. I literally had to do a dispute through PayPal to get to get the money back. 
um, and it was a it, was, it genuinely was a nightmare so I don't know if you've had the same experience but if you do know where to get some cheap resin I'm always looking for a bargain so do comment below because it is extremely hard to find I know a lot of people say Amazon usually have it for around 32 um, I'm never lucky enough to spot that I'm really not I never spot it for sort of 32 pound the the Elegoo ABS type um, so yeah, I try I try all sorts of different resin out, and you get to get quite a lot of different results. Um, but to be honest, the the ABS I do like. I do get some good results from it, and it is it is um, it, you know it is my go-to resin. I've just got the blue Sunel uh, transparent, so I'm going to do some prints with that. See how that comes out. So check out Instagram to to see what they look like. Uh, I've got little Boondock Saints. Um, bust that I'm working on uh, just to see see how that comes out so yeah it's all good it's all good so we're almost there and just making sure it's quite tight I don't want it too tight because I will adjust this I do adjust this um, using the analyzer and I'll show you I'll show you that at the end that process at the end of how you just tune that up a little bit and make sure it's the right right frequency okay uh, see I have over tightened that size and that is that's that has made it a little bit too tight it's got a nice nice little twang to it but it's just slightly too high so now it's in all I'm gonna do is just take off the excess just very carefully run the blade along the uh, the little ridge it's always sometimes good to do it up a little bit tighter so you've got that ridge as a guide and then just loosen it up after. Um, but you don't want it overly tight. You don't You don't need this bit overly tight. This isn't what stops the, the resin coming out of the vat. This is just what keeps the tension of the of the FEP. So the, the eight screws here. The It's all the little screws that, that keep it sort of the fluid, uh, the resin from coming out. So as long as the ones underneath are tight, you're you're good to play about with the tightness of the the fat. Okay, so I'm just just very carefully taking off all the excess, going along the edges, tidying that up nice and neat, and that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the new fat installed. And we can just check it, check it works. Okay, so we're gonna use the spectrum analyzer just to test the, the frequency of the FEP. So I'm just gonna start recording so I can put a, a screen up. I'm gonna load the analyzer and just tap the FEP. Okay, and what you get is like a snare drum noise that's in around the 33 Hertz. Um, marks that's perfect um, I'm not going to do any adjustments that's that's fine and um, one of the things we need to do is test it so this is a, a Mando bus that I've printed um, and it's come out perfectly I'm really happy um, so that's uh, that's the FEP sorted um, if you want to come back and see this uh, in um, all its glory I'm gonna put it onto the um, the new uh, Mercury Plus uh, by Elegoo, which is a wash and cure station, and I'll show you how this cleans up. So come back and check out the next video. Hope this has helped you out. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.